What is up guys, Elemental here, and today I'm with Next Level PvP doing some Enhanced Shaman Talents and Glyphs. So let's get straight to it. So, first off, there is three talents in each tree for each level, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. Now, there's one called Nature's Guardian. Whenever you take damage and you go below 30% health, your maximum health is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Now, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. Now, this only occurs after every 30 seconds, so once you drop down, you better hope <laughs> you get it back within 30 seconds. Now what I use is a stone burwalk totem. You just drop this down to your feet, it absorbs a certain amount of damage, and if the totem is still active, it keeps refreshing it. And now also, Astral Shift is one that a lot of enhanced shamans will probably use as well. It, it, you take 40% damage when doing it. Now Frozen Power is use your Frost Shock and roots any targets in front of you. It's got to be a certain distance for that to work though. Also, you can use your Earth Grab Totem, which is kind of cool. It's, it literally roots everybody around you, and I use that for Ellie. You can use it as Enhanced, but, you know, personally, I like Ellie. Now, there's another good one, and this is another one that Enhanced Shamans would want to use. Wind Walk Totem. You drop this down, it removes all snaring effects to you and your party members. Very, very important. Now, this one is more resto. Call up elements when you fish, finish an active immediately. It finishes the cooldown of all your totems based within three minutes. Eh, not so much. I like Totematic Restoration. If one of your totems is killed prematurely, it drops the cooldown by 50%. That's what I use. You can also use Totematic Projection where you can locate any totem you want anywhere on the map. Me personally, I don't think so. Now you can use this as Enhanced. Echo of Elements has a chance to duplicate a spell. That's nature too, guys. Enhanced can use it. And Astral Swiftness, I use this. Gives you a base of in spell and melee by 5% and gives you an instant spell, which is cool. You can also use Elemental Mastery. Gains 30%. It's up to you, really. And okay, now, Healing Totem, this is good. You can use this as Enhance, Rest or Ellie. It's very good, it heals for a lot. But as Enhance, you'll probably want to go with Ancestral Guidance. It's an amazing spell for Enhance. You'll be doing damage anyways, and it heals you by the damage you do. Take it. This other one, Conductivity, that is for Resto. I won't use it. Now let's go to the Glyph section of the video, guys, where I tell you what Glyphs I'm using. Pretty nice, personally, I like them. So right now I have a glyph of Grounding Totem in which reflects the spell back. Personally, I wouldn't use that. I just have it in because of, of my Ellie. I would actually use a glyph of Hex. It reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds. Very nice when it comes to clutch situations when you heals. Now I'm using glyph of Shamanistic Rage. This takes off all magical effects. Not to include what the spell does by itself, right? By reducing damage by 40%, which is cool. Now, Glyph of Totematic Encirclement. This drops down decoy totems if you like the look of your totems being dropped. Any totem you drop, poof, four decoys. Also, there is some Ghost Wolf Glyphs. That's right, they got some pretty cool Ghost Wolf. The first one is, bam, you look like a spectral Ghost Wolf. Now, the second one, this one a lot of people will be using. You're getting tired of using regions for walking water? Well, not anymore. Glyph of the Lake Strider now loot makes your Ghost Wolf form also have water walking on it as well. It is pretty amazing. Alright guys, so that was the Glyph and Talent portion of this video. Up next, I'll be giving out a Enhancement Rotation and Macros video. And in the very near future, an Elemental Macro, Talent, and Glyph video. So until next time guys, Elemental out. Peace.